Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting behind Roger Superdollar. I'm in the Holy Family Church parking lot. This is my most favorite place now to sit in the car and chat with you guys. I just ran in for meat. I needed ground beef desperately. I pay $2.99 a pound here. I have to buy a 10 pound bag, but that's okay with me. I separate it, freeze it, and I'm usually good for maybe a week with that 10 pounds of ground beef. I also eat a lot of steak and um, sometimes though my mother wants the ground beef too so we never know how long it's going to last but love my ground beef. Speaking of beef, I just recorded and I am currently editing a zero carb update for you guys. I'm not going to talk about that right now but it should be the video before this one. This vlog is about my upcoming dating series. I don't know if we can actually call it a dating series because there's a very good chance I will never go on an actual date. But I think even just the process of trying will be fun or at the very least entertaining. Here's the thing. I have actually thought about doing this several months ago. In fact, I went to Match.com and I see that I started my profile in January of this year. We are now in July. So it was many months ago that I thought about this, but then I just wasn't into it. Now I think enough time has passed that I'm ready to just go out and have some fun. But I want to make it very clear that I have absolutely no interest in striking up a relationship with anyone. I don't care who the guy would be. It's not what I am after. When I posted this idea, you know, a lot of you were like, oh, just, you know, do it. You're going to meet the man of your dreams. And that's not what I'm doing this for. I am totally doing this for the sake of my channel and content that I think would be interesting and might get a lot of watch time. Yes, I think in terms of my channel when I come up with ideas like this, it has nothing to do with needing to go on a date. What the hell do I want with a man anyway? In my experience, they have always just caused some problems. I don't think there's anybody out there at all that exists that would be like the man of my dreams. I want somebody who in a relationship would rather just watch TV and leave me alone. <sighs> oh wait, I think I just described every man. <laughs> I'm just so not relationship-like because it would mean I'd have to come out of seclusion and actually, like, do things with the man. Go out, see family, oh, so, you know, ugh. I just, I don't want any of that. But now I would be dating older men, which would be okay because they're probably at that point in life, too, where they just want to sit down and watch TV and let me work. That's all I care about. So I don't need a guy. If I did meet a man, he would certainly have to be handy and know how to fix things. And just funny and a non-drinker, a non-smoker. And I don't know, just, you know, likes to take a shower every day. <laughs> that kind of thing. The basics. <laughs> So I would not be going on dates to actually meet a man. It would all be just for the entertainment factor. So here's the problem with that. I imagine it would be very hard for me to get a date no matter what because in many eyes I'm not a great catch and I get that. I do also know that in other eyes I would be a great catch. There's somebody for everybody out there. Never once would I say, oh, well, nobody would like me. Of course there would be men who would like me and be interested in me and actually like my humor and my filthy mouth. Those kind of things. And that even like big women. So that's not my concern. But the thing is that... <sighs> A lot of the guys on these dating sites do want and request somebody fit and active, and I'm none of that. So I'm not likely to get many hits. The other thing is that I have a choice to make. I have to either decide, would I actually have an open camera on the date, or would I bring the camera on the date, but then just talk in private, like if I sneak to the bathroom or things like that. Some have suggested just go on the date and then, you know, we can get ready with you for the date and then you can tell us about the date after. No interest in that because the whole entire date would be just me and the dude. 
I think that's so boring. I want the peanut gallery with me on the date. My thing is, do I let the guy know or not? If I plan on having the camera on the date, then I have to let it be known in my profile that that's the plan. Some guys might be like, say what? I'm not going to be on YouTube with this chick. But others might say, that might be kind of fun. Just, you know, go on a date for the sake of YouTube. And they might get a kick out of that. So I don't know. I don't know if I should let them know up front. If I let them know up front, that puts a big damper on how I talk about the date after the fact because they would be watching it and it would be hard for me to say oh my god the guy was so incredibly boring you know so i wouldn't be able to do all that so the other option is take the camera but not let them know i'm recording and i could capture them on the camera because in maine we are allowed to record somebody without their permission because it is a let me get this right Maine is a one-party consent state. One party has to consent to something being recorded, whether it's voice or video, and can be published. Only one party has to consent, and that can be the party who is doing the recording. So I absolutely have the right, by law, to record some poor sorry ass while I'm dating him and putting it out there for the world to see, and he doesn't have to know that. I just think that would be super fun. But I think it would eliminate a lot of my recording time, and I just think it would be more fun to actually record us talking and him know that. I don't know. If this is such a long shot that it would even work. I just need to plan ahead because I need to know what to put on my profile. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I'm working on the profile. I still have to take some pictures. When I get the profile set up, I'm going to go over the profile with you guys and we'll just start from there. At the very least, I can read any replies that I get. You know that many of them will be scam artists who are from Nigeria or wherever trying to con me. I'm not falling for any of that. And then others might just be um, complete losers. <laughs> You know, I do want someone that doesn't have, like, all rotten teeth or no teeth. You know what I mean? <laughs> Even just on a date. I mean, I'm willing to do this for the fun of it. But come on, I don't want to be ill you know, when I go out. So I would like somebody who's at least uh, a little bit concerned about certain things, about general appearance and like I don't want them to stink you know stuff like that so I am a little bit fussy but not that fussy I would date just about anybody just for the fun of it do not want younger than 50 I'll be 57 very soon and I honest to God I would date a probably up to 80 years old 70 for sure I think an older guy who's done it all and just wants to kick back and have fun I think that would be awesome I've always wanted to be with an older man and that never has happened other than like four years older and that's not older <laughs> so this is partially the plan and the reason i'm even bringing this up is because so many of you said dating was not on your new schedule and that's because i can't schedule that i haven't even started that i can't say okay on friday date someone i mean that's not going to work that way so that's why it wasn't on the schedule and it could have been at least in my list of ideas but believe me i don't think i can just forget about that if i'm looking at a dating profile with you guys that would probably turn into something somewhat regular depending on how many little bites i get from the losers in the world <laughs> I do attract losers. I do. But I would be very fussy now. Wouldn't that be awful that I started dating somebody and I did meet and fall for a loser? Like somebody who has no license because they have so many OUIs. <laughs> you know, they have a prison record. I can't let things like that happen. I'm I have so much empathy for people that I'm always afraid that I would be attracted to somebody like that. Again, I have gone out with my share of not great catches. I'm not falling for anybody, I can promise you that. And for those of you who are interested in knowing if I would consider dating a woman, nope, I'm not gay. 
And I don't care how funny that would be for me to be on a date with a woman. I have a hard time with women. I find women, for the most part, are annoying. I mean, yes, I have women friends. Don't get me wrong. But I always liked hanging out with the guys. If there was a party, I was with the guys in the other room drinking and smoking. I wasn't in the kitchen doing dishes with Mama Sita and the clan. I never liked that. Women tend to bore me and there's a lot of kind of gossipy. Am I stereotyping women now? I don't know. But, but I liked hanging out with the guys. And I don't mean just that's what I'm attracted to physically or sexually. I'm just saying that just in general, I'd rather go sit with a guy and talk than a woman. I just would. Sorry, girls. Lucky women that they don't have to put up with me and the poor guys who have to. I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about this, and it's kind of funny, and it's very, very scary to me, and it is completely out of my element. And that is why I say that there's no way this is happening unless a camera is involved on the actual date. I will not go on a date without a camera. I just have no interest in doing anything like that. But for the sake of the channel and for some entertainment, I would be willing to try it. So that's it. Uh, just stay tuned. We'll see where this goes. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.